The nickel rocket's got a short fuse, and so do I. Want some? Come get some. I'm gonna keep it civil. You're gonna get donkey stomp. We're gonna send you back home and the cheese stay back. Calling your ass out, bro. You better be there. Smack Talk goes from keyboard to concrete at Atco Dragway. Find out whose mouth wrote a check their ride couldn't cash. This is The Call Out. My name is Glenn Hunter. This is my 56 Chevy. Pro Street car. It's got a twin turbo big block Chevy with a turbo 400 transmission. It is a street car. I'm heading down to Atco, New Jersey this weekend for the All Out Live slash Call Out show. I know there's some fast cars down there, but I'm calling out all of them. The fastest car I can find, I'm gonna call them out and I wanna take them down. This is George Rubastello with a bigger and better loose screw. We're gonna be heading to Atco, New Jersey to a call out and all out live. And I'm looking for call outs. So if you think you got what it takes to beat loose screw, call me out and be at Atco, New Jersey because I'll be there waiting for you. My name is John Martin. Behind me is Big O. It's an induction solutions assisted big block sitting on True 28s. I'm calling out anybody from the Philly, New Jersey, New York area thinks it's got what it takes to get by this car. If you think you can get past this car, come out to ACO. I'll be there sitting waiting. So I'm riding around in my truck. It's hot outside, sitting in the AC. Make the decision five minutes ago come back to Atco driveway. I, w- I wasn't even gonna come because y'all couldn't, y'all couldn't bring anybody to the track to take this bounty. I'm undefeated in the call out for a year and a half and I still can't find anybody to come to the track that's a big dog and put me on my knees. We're gonna be in the house at Atco driveway looking for some action. The cars are unloaded, fired up, and prepped for an intense weekend of racing. The racers set their rides on kill to test the limits of the track. George Rubastello's pit, there's a mad thrash to get a hurt transmission fixed in time to make his first call out race. Anything, parts wise, say the word and I'll call every trans guy I know in the tri state area to get it here. Okay. Even if he, whatever he needs to get that car for tomorrow. So George broke his transmission. We're trying to find a pump to fix it. We'll get it fixed one way or the other. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of clearance in that clutch pack. Testing continues into the night. The call out has claimed another victim, Anthony Monaco's Nova. That's what I figured. I didn't think that because that's good. I gotta watch that seal now. That's good. There. Yeah. there was oil out on the track. It's probably coming out right now. That's yeah. why I don't want to. The oak's still in there. It just blew the cap hole. Yeah. We're out here at Adco Dragway for the Call Out TV show. And we've ran out of small tire cars to race with the Red Bull. I can't, I can't even give this bounty away. $1,000 bounty. Can't give it away. Can't get any small tire cars to run us. So what we're going to do, we're going to go after some of these big tire cars. We're going to call them out anyway and see if we can get this done. How you doing? This your car? Yes, sir. How you doing? How are you? Uh, You a fireman? Yeah. I'm a fireman 19 years. My name's Shannon Poole. I'm with the call out. 
I want to call you guys out. Y'all down with that? Yeah. Straight up, heads up? Yep. Okay, I got a small tire, 28, through 28, 10 5, big block, one kit. Okay. Y'all, what are y'all? Yeah, big, big tire, tire. Yep. one kit. One kit? Big block, yep. All right, let's go, cool. let's do it. Yep. Uh, about 330? Yep. Right. We'll do it for about 500? Yep. I like that, no <laughs> pull, no pull approach. Yep, yep. cool. Do All right, good luck, man. All right, bro. Thank you. Today. I hope so. Shannon Poole taking on John Zika, the Red Bull Corvette in the left lane. John Zika, the 67 Camaro in the right lane. So Shannon Poole got the induction solution and Keen Corvette sponsored Red Bull Corvette tower side. All right, so Poole doing the nitrous purge, lights the top light. Zika's now in, pulls right in. Zika gotta light the bottom lamp in the right lane. All right, there they go, there's the instant green. And Shannon Poole, he's out in front and 27 and 0. Shannon Poole takes the win light over John Zika. Poole gets there by about 100 feet first. We just got back from the race with John Zinka. Those are some good guys. I'm not gonna talk a lot of smack because I'm not, uh, they may or may not be in the mafia, I don't, I don't know. So I don't want any problems. They frighten me a little bit. Undefeated still, and we're gonna keep rolling, keep moving, and do the things we do to protect that team parts bounty. My name's Neil Heyman. I'm here with my 68 Camaro small tire streetcar. Old gold, we'd like to call her. I'm here to call out John Martin. John Martin and his 69 Chevelle, they call Big O. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna polish these taillights because that's all you'll be looking at. Neil Heyman, I accept your call out of Big O. You worry about your taillights? I'll be more concerned about your doors. 3,600 pounds of Big O going by you creates a lot of turbulence. Might just suck the doors right off that gold car. Hey, we got Neil and John. Neil in this 68 Camaro called out John. He's getting called out by everybody in this nice 69 Chevelle. So Neil, what are you doing calling out John? So John's been running his mouth a lot recently. And John, he's got something here. That's why everyone's calling him out. So I figured, why wouldn't I take a shot? So what do you got under the hood of this thing? Uh, it's a 582 cubic, cubic inch big block. OK. A little bit of nitrous just for John. All right. And what do we got under the hood of this one? 540 cubic inches with uh, induction solutions plate. A little bit of nitrous. All right, maybe a lot of nitrous to cover this car. There you go. So we got two big block. Yeah. GM cars. Small tires. Small tire battling it out. Cars. John Martin with his 1969 Chevelle taking on right side Neil Heyman with the 1968 Camaro. So here we go, Martin and Heyman both in immediately. And there we go, green light both sides. A little bit out to the quarter mile. Heyman just in front and wind light on for Neil Heyman in the right lane. And that 68 Camaro gets there first by just over 60 feet. Neil Heyman, the winner. Hey, John Martin, you and Big O. Great race at the call out, but you didn't bring enough for old gold. I told you I'd polish the taillights for you. Hope they look good. It's time for the call out at Atco Dragway. This is our local call outs. Anybody could race on the call out. I think I've seen these guys before. Now you've got a nickname. What, uh, is, are you the boogeyman? Yes, yes, they call me the boogeyman from the Boogie Down Bronx. Boogie Down Bronx. So where are you from? Massapequa, Long Island. And what's your name again? Carmine Amore. Carmine Amore. And what's your real name? Jerry Muniz. All right, Jerry Muniz. Here too for the call out. You guys have worked, raced each other before. What was the end result last time? I lost. I won. There you go, right? So, round two. You want to do a one car, which is a rear tire start, and rock and roll off the instant green, and you guys are good to go here, right? 2K? That's it? Nice rematch of the century right here. Shake hands. Let's get it on, guys. The Boogeyman's giving Carmine the back tire. Carmine's in, Boogeyman's in, green light's on. Carmine, oh no, Boogeyman driving by him. He's around him. They're out, look for the wind light.
right. Who's going to take it? It's the boogeyman in the right lane. What's your name? Bob. Rollo. Bobby Rollo, New, New York. York. Yes. Where are you from? Long Island, New York. What's your name? Jason Zuglio. What's on the line, number one? Is this pride? Is this family feud? What are you, you pissed off at him? 500. The 500 bucks on this. Last year we did two call outs. He beat me once, I beat him once. What, what was that? I'm sorry, Wait, come, come here, come here. What was that? Let him beat me last year. He let you beat, okay. So he let you win, so this is a 500 bucks, so you want to get your 500 bucks back. All right, so is this a heads up race? Heads up? All right, they're shaking, here we go. It's a heads up, it's a family feud, it's the call out Echo, Echo Dragway. Get it going, guys. Have fun, be careful. 500 bucks on the line. Jason Fazuglio, the Pontiac Trans Am in the left lane. Bobby Rolo, the 1988 Ford Mustang in the right lane. Both drivers like the top ball. Both drivers like the bottom ball. Green light all, no red lights. Looks like the Trans Am got a little bit of a better start. But Rolo, right lane, staying right with them. This is a close race. Wind light on for Fazuglio, the Trans Am in the left lane. What's your name? Jason Nelson. Where are you from? Quakertown, Pennsylvania. Where are you driving? 1969 Dodge Dart. Very nice, 69 Dodge Dart. What's your name? Uh, Jim Beagle. Live in uh, 1968 Chevelle. Where are you from? Uh, Piperville, Pennsylvania. What do you have to say about this? Come here. I just want to show him some small block power. He's got the big block. So I want to show him what a small block can do. Do you have anything on the line here? Uh, 275 bucks. 275. All right. Uh, is this a heads up race? Yes. Heads up. So you both agreed this is a heads up race. All right, guys. We got old. We got young. Small block. Big block. Shake hands. Let's get it on. The Dodge Dart Nelson goes right in, and he goes in deep. Right side, double bulbs it. There's the green light on. The Dodge Dart is away, and now Beagle's chasing him in the Chevelle. He's trying to get around him. And looks like the wind light top end's gonna go to Nelson. Number one, who are you? I'm Michael Martin, the Juice Man. Oh, I know you. So the Juice Man's here. What are you riding this year? What are you, what are you, what are you driving this time? Today I have my Daily Driver 2010 Camaro. Any juice? Uh, I'm determined. Wait a second now. Are you the Juice Man? Are you using the juice? Uh, All right, hold on, let's see what's going on here. You know what, you stand over and figure that one out. Who do we have over here? Mike Martin, Jr. All right, Mike. So what are you driving, number one? A bone stock V6, 2,000 Camaro. How, how are we going to get this done? If you've got a V8 and you've got a V6, how do we make this fair? How is this going to work? Let him go to the 330 and then release him. I'll stand in front of him. Okay. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. You leave, 3.30, you go, handshake, let's get this done, family feud. All right, senior and junior, father versus son, family feud. Little juice in the right lane's got the bulbs lit. Instant green, there he goes. All right, Martin Senior cannot leave until he gets to the 3.30. All right, he's at the 3.30, there he goes. I don't know what he was thinking. There's no way he's gonna catch him. 330 feet, I knew that was way too much. 570 feet margin for Juice Jr. Let's go get uh, an update on George Rubicella's loose screw. Had a little bit of bad luck last night, yeah, George. Yeah, we, uh, we had a tranny go bad, and uh, I, I gotta thank Shannon Poole and his crew for stepping up and helping me out. We got the tranny fixed. We're ready to go, and I can't wait to get down that track. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what happened uh, with the transmission. I had a catastrophic engine failure last year, and that has something to do with the tranny breaking, and I didn't realize it until we got here, the tranny was broken. And uh, we got it fixed. We're up until 3 o'clock in the morning, but we got it done. Hi, I'm Jason Smith with the Blown Corvette EVT. I got my one-armed crew chief over here, Juliana, pulling over the car, getting it ready to go. So, George, be ready, because we're going to tighten that loose screw up for you. I'm Jason Smith out from Middletown, Maryland. I have the EBT blown Corvette. It's a 1991 Corvette with a 540 big block Chevy, 1471 blower, alcohol injected. We're looking for George with the loose screw. Loose screw, George Rubastello, 
the 63 Nova in the water box. Jason Smith with the Corvette. All right, Rubastello going to burn it out. And he's part of the John Force burnout camp. All right, who screws backing up in the left lane? Jason Smith finally able to get the car into the water box. Here we go, burn it out, Jason. All right, Jason Smith laying down the rubber in the right lane. All right, George Rubastello is in. Smith got it bumping in. There he is, there's the green light. Jason Smith, right side. Car ran pretty good. His car ran pretty good, but not quite enough to come around the EBT Corvette. So I want to do this follow-up with the back shot of the vet since, George, this is what the loose crew got to see the most of. Jason Smith, that was a really good race, man. It looks like he got me by inches. Not bad for 1071 up against the 1471. We will definitely do it again, my friend. So who called you out here? He called me out. He called him out. Did ya? Yeah. And he wants the hit. So we're going to give him the hit on the line. I'm going to leave after he leaves. We're gonna when I leave, he leaves. leaves. OK. All right. So he gets to jump. Is there any skin in the game? You just run for pride. We'll see what happens once we get a little closer. I'm hungry. Man, will buy me a burger. Yeah. <laughs> so I haven't seen your car yet, and I've seen his. What do, what do you got? I got a 68 HML down where the yellow truck is. My name's uh, Jim Beagle. I'm from uh, Pipersville, Pennsylvania. This is my 1968 Chevelle. It's 572, 620 horse, naturally aspirated, big block, pump gas, 92 octane. I was building off and on for four years, and then All Out Live came up last year. In August, I saw it on the computer, and I wanted to get into it. And I signed up, paid the money, and it pushed me to get the car done. And, and I worked on it, got it done, and come out and give it hell. See if we teach a young kid some, uh, some manners and uh, see if we get him to uh, you know, show what a big block's like. Pontiac Firebird right side taking on Jim Beagle in the 1968 Chevelle. All right, Jim Beagle, 68 Chevelle, double bulbs it. Bronca's in, green lights on, and Beagle leads Bronca in the dust. Bronca's trying to catch him. Might be able to do it here. Can he get around him, take the quarter mile wind light? Yes, he can, the 67 Firebird. Vinny, Bronca, Beagle. Left him sitting at the starting line, but Bronca too much under the hood, and he takes the win light at the finish line. and the 1956 Chevrolet in the right lane. Joe Murphy, Fox-bodied Ford Mustang, paint job like the, uh, the fighter planes back in World War II. Glenn Hunter with that beautiful 1956 Chevrolet. All right, both drivers got the top bulb lit. Murphy's inching forward. All right, Murphy building the boost. Oh, Joe Murphy. I'm not sure if he actually took the tree, but he did take the tree, and Murphy takes the wind light in the left lane. He might have cut a perfect light on that one. He did a really good job on the tree. He got me real good, but I'll be back. I was inside enjoying the nice air condition when I get a phone call about this guy, Eric Russell from uh, Pennsylvania, maybe. Evidently, this guy is called 
He's been killing everybody around at the track or whatever. He's been outrunning everybody. He's called the Big Block Killer. Eric Russell, AKA the Big Block Killer. He sits like me. I got a big block, conventional head, single system, Willie Barge, non-existent on a 28 inch tire. So that's how he sits. So I'm thinking, why not call this dude out and let him try to kill this big block? Eric Russell, this is your call out dog. What's up? Shannon Poole caught up with Eric Russell at ADCO to find out if he's really the big block killer. Shannon Poole, he's 28-0 in the call-out. He's right there in that key Corvette Parts Induction Solutions. Red Bull Corvette left side. Shannon loves the left lane, and he's taking on Eric Russell, right side in the Ford Thunderbird. Shannon Poole was trying to put this matchup together all day. Weren't sure if it was gonna happen. Eric Russell, time to put your money where your mouth is and put an L on Shannon Poole right now. And like I said, Shannon Poole right now, 28-0 in the call out. Eric Russell, the chance, put an L in the column. Eric Russell goes past the starting line. All right, Shannon Poole's in. Looks like he's giving Russell the back tire. There's the green. No chance, Eric Russell. What were you thinking? Poole even over towards the wall in the left lane. He gets out of it, gets back in, still takes it. By 140 feet, he had all the advantages, but Shannon Poole, 29 and 0 in the call out. So we just got back from our race with Eric Russell, AKA Big Block Killer. He's talking, uh, he talks all the smack how he's gonna kill us and run over us and, you know, we got out the way, so he, he could run with the King, the King Corvette Red Bull. We already knew that before we drove a thousand miles, but sometimes you got to drive a thousand miles to make a point. <laughs>